I think, like you say, just tease it out really nice for Paris Nice. I think it's going to be one of the most exciting Paris Nice stages that we've seen in a long time. Nevertheless, there was also another race in a different continent, the Tour of Rwanda, and we had a certain four time. Uh, Tour de France winner there, Chris Froome, who almost seemed like he was going to take a stage win at one point. And uh, yeah, what did you guys make of the stage or oh, the stage race that was won by, now this is going to be very offensive, Henok Mulu Herban, the African continental champion as well, and has been bigged up as one of the big rising stars of Eritrea. I like the the Africa has like the, has this tour of Rwanda. I think that it's important that especially with Binny on the rise, that it's important that African cycling doesn't just have one person, but they try to have multiple people getting their names in the limelight and just having another rider, especially considering that he is a part of a pro continental team. So maybe he might get to be competing in a slightly bigger, more competitive field. So we could see kind of while well, his African championship bands that would be kind of nice to see as well they'd look better than uaes anyway or whatever but um yeah i, I think it, it's great that um that, that he won i think that you know it just gives africa another rider to to really cheer about because it's obviously such a, a vibrant community he wants to get behind their riders and just adding another one in there is such a, a, a great thing for them i think yep i agree completely i think it's uh it's good to have a uh, new guys coming through he's um double african champion now he's got the jersey for that he's, he's a strong sort of punchy sprinter and he's also riding for Bardiani or green project i believe they're now called which gives him the opportunity to race at some top level rcs uh races such as the giro d'italia which is coming up later this year if he starts that race i think it'll be fun to see what he can do there on a couple of the hillier sprinting days i don't think he's quite on a binim grimai level now uh, they're similar ages, actually. Um, so maybe in the maybe in a season or two, he can build up to that point. But I think Bardiani have signed themselves up for a, for a good um, writer here. Also, I like the fact his name is Enoch or Henoch. It's another reference to uh, to religion as well in this podcast. Even Vernon won two stages. Quick step have uh, another young kind of climber on my hands in William Junior Leclerc. So another, well, another young Belgium short climber to add to Remco's armada for the future. Rwanda was a good week for sort of testing out British riders as well. A couple of strong results yeah. for like young Brits. Uh, there's a guy from Trinity. Apologies, I can't remember his name. He's in. Uh, he finished in top 10. Also, my buddy Mark Stewart came second on the stage. Good to see him uh, doing well after all these years. Solid week, really, for, for the... For the Brits. Vernon riding for the development team for Sudal Quickstep. I thought that yeah. was quite strange. They're allowed to do that. I think the development team are allowed to have one, maybe one or two pro riders in one of the smaller races. Yeah, I, I can't quite remember what the rule is on it, but you can field a pro to a development team on these small races as long as they're from the same sort of family so like one of the riders from Jumbo Visma could ride with, with with the dev team at sort of Alp Maritime et Duvar no sorry Alp Isère Tour rather send white one out to the Tour de Lavenir right now <laughs> I want to see Balabella there compete at, <laughs> at the Tour de Lavenir that's what I want well sticking with the Tour of Rwanda for Hainok uh, I think one thing that is quite comforting is looking back at the, the previous winners. Tess Fashion won it two years, and he's now riding with Trek. You've got Maori Kudos as well, World Tour as well. So it, it, it's a good stepping stone for an African rider to get into the World Tour this. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I actually almost hope that Africa gets more stage races. Maybe the World Championships in Rwanda will spur some enthusiasm. I really hope that they do, because obviously, you know, we all hear about the, the high altitudes of, of, of some of the countries in Africa. That, should, they, that means they've got hills, right? That must be a mountaintop finish somewhere. Just build build a road, I guess. I, I don't know. But, you know, I reckon that it should hopefully spur on some more development in Africa because hopefully they can all follow nicely behind Binny and uh, enter the world tour, get a nice bit of uh, African diversity in the peloton. That would be good to see. 